All right, homesteader family. So you can see how dry it is. The little wading pond that I made for the pigs down there is drying up tremendously. And the only water running is the water from the natural springs. And uh, it's just horrible on how dry it is this year. So of course the spillway has no water going over. And here you can see the pond. The pond is down. If you look over on the side coming down, I want to say it's about 18 inches, almost down to two feet low. Because remember all that water came up to the duck house that I had. And now it's just down, down, down. And of course without the ducks and geese and everything in the pond, algae and stuff is growing. And they're not in here to eat that down. And you can see over here, on the base of spillway how low that water is and it, it's just crazy now all these fruit trees were the dead fruit trees i threw in the water just to see if any would come back and of course they didn't come back but you can see it's just low 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 no water running whatsoever no water down below and like i said if it wasn't for the natural springs down there I wouldn't have any of that water flowing for the animals. So it's a really good thing I set everything up the way I set it up. And you can see the goats are all excited to go chew on the bushes. They love their bushes. And we got some cattle people hauling some cattle out. There's a truck there and another truck getting ready to come. And everybody's up here moving cattle around because without the water... Uh, their cattle aren't getting enough water, so they have to pull some out and move them to other locations. So, I'll just go ahead and walk up here, and I'm going to head over uh, on the other side of the creek bed, on the other side of the driveway, because I planted all those pumpkin seeds about a week ago. And I know the seeds take a while to come up, but I th actually think it's been a little over a week. And then another thing I've got to do here with the pond is you can see right there is the pet carrier that blew in. It's still, I want to say, five feet under water. I tried using a rope and a makeshift hook, but I'm going to have to figure out something else. Maybe get a pole with a hook on it, try to pull it out that way so I can get that carrier out. And you can see up here that's normally all filled with water it's it's just down it's crazy how dry this year is we may be getting a little bit of rain today but it's not nearly what we need but you can see where the water is in the ground because all this is green and lush and this is the natural springs and that's what's keeping the pond from drying up it's not enough to keep it at full float but it's doing what it can. And you can see over here how lush and green all of this is over here. And uh, the difference, of course, no water running has it ran in, I want to say, uh, since the first week of May, everything's dried up. And it's just, it's crazy. But I went ahead, I put pumpkin seeds all throughout this area and all different seeds. And I don't see anything yet. And like I said, it's going to probably be another week or two before I see stuff. So I just want to show you guys how green and lush this area is. And all the beautiful flowers. And of course the park is all set up with leaves. And it's just amazing. Another dry year. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go get some work done.